Hey, how's it going, you Grouchy Grimers? Today, gonna be playing some games with Roxy Chomp, still my favorite deck in the standard format. I haven't changed a card from this list, the list that got top eight over at uh, Malaysian, the, Mal the regionals in Malaysia. Um, so yeah, not much to say on the list. Uh, still my favorite deck in standard. Let's go ahead and uh, get into some games. All right, we're up against the ADP Bird Trio here. Um, I got the Dust Stone for the Miss Mages. We do have to go with this in pretty much immediately here because of how the game setting up i'm gonna go ahead and get rid of a lure ball here i'm gonna give up one of those uh we don't really need wheezings in this matchup um it looks like they're not gxing with adp immediately though so that will definitely make things interesting uh, i mean we might be able to just pop another miss mages if we want to uh, we can get a greens which is nice that's very super cool um I'm gonna go ahead and treasure away power plant. Uh, I'm gonna put another mischievous in play just in case I need it on the next turn because currently it looks like I do. Um, and then we'll go ahead and greens for, um, I don't know. Just grab surge and greens and then we can basically get whatever we wanted. Um, so I think that sounds pretty good to me. Just taking surge and greens, we can go surge greens. Do literally whatever we want on our next turn. Go ahead, linear attack. Punch the bird for 40. Set it up so that we can... Actually, we can't claim it a slash knock it out next turn. But they can't attack with it next turn. So I guess that's that's fine, actually. We can't knock it out. They can't claim it a slash. It's fine with me. There's the greens. I expect Choice Helmet to make its way into play here. But then we can go ahead and grab the Faba. We can go Surge Greens Faba if we wanted to. Um, but I really want to go Surge Greens, Cynthia Caitlin, Get back Surge and just kind of draw a bunch of cards. It's ideally what I want to do this turn. But depending on what our opponent does... Might have to do something different. We can also just GG end this uh, Moltres Zapdos Articuno if they do put a bunch of energy on it and just kind of reset that. I'd be fine with that for uh, for my turn. There's greens and a tag call. That really doesn't tell me anything on what they plan to do this turn. They didn't get the choice helmet is the big thing. I think I will just GG end that, um, that bird right there. We could, we could just punch it again with linear attack. And then they would have to retreat into it, Mao and Lana, and switch out of it again to actually protect it. So actually just punching it again might be a little bit better because then it doesn't involve me using uh, my GX attack. And I can save that for later. Um, but then they could GX attack with the bird. But I don't think I care if they GX attack with the bird. Um, yeah, definitely interesting situation we find ourselves in here. Um, going to go ahead and surge. And then greens. I'm going to get tag call and um maybe a karate belt yeah karate belt seems pretty good do we have the counter gain in hand counter gains are not as good though karate belt and then tag call i'm gonna get myself another tina chomp and a cynthia caitlin just gonna check here um and then we'll cynthia caitlin away the uh, Miss mages i think because i don't want to use another Miss mages i don't want to lose the energy or lure balls better than Miss mages at Counter gain is also better, so the Miss Mages get back the surge so we can use that next turn potentially. One, two, three. There's a Roxy, so Roxy would be cool to maybe use on the next turn. Put down the Tina Chomp. Hmm. Power plant, don't know that. Uh yeah, put down the Tina Chomp. We just attach the fighting. Well, if we just linear attack there, put the fighting on the bench guy, because I could counter gain the bench guy as well. And then just go ahead and linear attack the bird again. Yeah, if they're just going to let me linear attack it again, I think I am just going to linear attack it again. Because it's really awkward for them to actually pull off the Malo and Lana combo on their turn. And then if they do, then I could GG end it. Um, if they get off the full Malo and Lana, heal the bird, like retreat, heal, uh, switch. Then I think I would just go with the uh, GG end, put that put the thing away they could also go with their gx attack here shuffle themselves back in the deck which would be kind of annoying but then i would just start using climate slash on stuff and i wouldn't really care um there's an adp so now i'm curious if they're gonna victory sign to the adp now for their turn as well and then go from there uh and just have two big tag team gx pokemon set up to start doing stuff they're gonna go into the bird if they go into the bird we get to knock out the bird which is kind of cool I don't see a reason not to knock out the bird. It's knocking out the bird seems pretty good. So we'd knock out the bird. Um, I'd want to set myself up. Well, we don't knock it out for sure, I guess, yet. We're, we pretty much knock out the bird here. Um, there's a 
Marines Exploration. Here is where, well, they should have already gotten themselves a choice helmet. Well, there's a switch and a greens. I have no idea what their uh, their game plan is here. They're trying to keep the energy on the Victini here, I guess. Are they going to GX attack? They might just GX attack here. Um, yeah, it is going to be the GX attack. All right, all right. We lose our... Mystery. I don't. I didn't really expect that at all. That's kind of weird. I don't know what to do now. Because I, I didn't expect that. I actually don't know how to respond to the situation that we're now in. Here comes a Kragonal. Um, yeah, I just have no idea how to respond to that just happening. That is not what I expected at all. But, I mean, here we are. We're not going to use any more Miss Magus. Or we'll try and avoid it uh, initially. We might use some in the end. But initially, we just don't plan on using any. Uh, going to go with that Roxy. Get rid of, get rid of these two. Do some damage. Yes, we could Roxy for another two if we wanted to, or we do have the greens, so we could get some other stuff. We could also use the Mallow and Lana, um, so we can start uh, healing up our dudes, which we definitely want to do, but it gets awkward because then this guy would be in our active, and he is not who we want in our active um, right now because I might want to GGN sometime soon. But I think I might just Roxy... Uh, go ahead and Roxy again and just draw a bunch of cards. Get rid of the double wheezing. Keep around this this combo for a little bit. Um, I think we're out of lure ball. No, we have one lure ball left, so we can use some more wheezings if we want to. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and linear attack. I think attach the fighting to the active because we drew that, which is kind of cool. Um, if I'd drawn a psychic, I would have put it on the bench. Yeah, just go ahead and linear attack that... Uh, What's it called? I guess I could have thrown out a reset stamp there as well. They do have a seven card hand. I could have put it to four, made it a little bit awkward for them. That would have been fine as well. I could have made it awkward for them. But this is also fine, I think. Just chilling. Saving all our reset stamps for the late game. We can really pressure them out with them. Um, and like if they, they end me here, I'm, or if they, re if they reset stamp me here, I mean, I have a really big hand. I don't really care too much, I think, if they reset stamp me here. Um, I'll let them burn through some more of their resources before I reset stamp them. Oh, uh, yeah, they're down to just, yeah, that's their last greens. It's good to see that go. Good to not have them have access to that anymore. So I could reset stamp whatever cards they get off this greens away. Like, stuff like that. That would be good. A little bit better, I think, to get rid of. Or to do after they use it. Let them use this greens. And we can reset stamp their next hand away. Which is literally whatever they get off this greens. Plus their current hand. They're just stamping a Mellow and Lana. They have two Mellow and Lanas in hand now. We definitely want to put those back in their deck. They're down two tag calls as well, so they're just running out of ways to find Mellow and Lana. They're out of switch. Um, so, yeah, I'm feeling pretty good about this scenario. We'll see what they do here with the Victini. I could have also sniped the Victini, and then it would have made it awkward for them to get into Victini as well as use the Victini. So I could have also just, like, knocked out Victini for my turn as well. We'll see what they Victory Signs do here. If they Victory Signs to the bird, I think we should definitely... Um, What's it called? GG end it. If they victory signs to the ADP, um, I think I'm going to go knock it out. I think I'm going to go greens or great catcher and just knock it out. We'll see what they actually victory signs to. It is going to be to the ADP. Um, so I think I should just take the knockout here. We can go reset stamp plus knockout if it's in the deck. I actually don't even know if it's in the deck. So we got to figure out that first as well. Um, so greens. No great catcher. Okay, so we can't great catcher. Let's see what else do we have in here? We only have access to one reset stamp, so that is actually kind of scary. Um, they're out of their GX attack. This guy's already set up very well to be knocked out. Oh no, we have a reset stamp in hand. All right, that explains it. Um, kind of want the tag call. I want to get the Caitlyn and Cynthia because I want to get Surge back and be able to Surge again. Um, And then maybe just GG end the ADP plus reset stamp. No, can't KO it, which kind of stinks. I call and greens. I call an energy spinner action. Energy for the next turn. Um, catch active. He brings it active. If we reset stamp, there's no way he has a combo of cards to like heal this. So we could just go reset stamp. I think we reset stamp for sure. Disrupt his next turn. We're out of greens now. Um, I'm kind of fine if he brings this up. That's the thing. So I think I might just linear attack the bird for the turn. And then I have nowhere to attach to it. I could attach here actually. 
We can attach here. He only hits this for 150, which is actually not a knockout. So then I could just go linear attack the bird. And these are my six prize cards right here between those two. Um, I get frozen locked. Do I care? No, because I can just mount Lana as a response. But I think I would actually want to play this and have access to that if I got frozen locked. Actually, I would also want to play this right now as well, too. This and this. Deck is getting really low. All right. I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, I'm still kind of torn on doing this play. I could have just GG ended this, actually. Maybe I should have, because then he would have to be forced to go to the bird. All right, whatever. Linear attack. Hit up the bird for 40. Now he's going to set up the bird, and then that becomes really annoying to deal with. But we can actually deal with that, because we can actually get the two more damage on it and knock it out. Yeah, we can actually deal with the bird being set up, actually, I think. Yeah, I think we can actually deal with this just fine. There's a tag call, so they'll get a Cynthia and Caitlyn back as well as a Mallow and Lana. But they're at a switch. The important part is that they're at a switch at this point. Which is really, 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 really good for us is the fact that they're at a switch. So I'm still feeling fine about this situation. They're going to hit us for 150, which is 10 short from knocking us out. I guess they could go into, like, Crystal Wall or Frozen Lock or something to knock us out. We will have to Calamity Slash knock this guy out, which is kind of scary because then we can get Reset Stamped. Um, so that's kind of annoying is that we can get reset stamped then uh, but There's nothing really we can do about that. I'll put down the other Tina chomp I think just as kind of protection from this at this point. There's the ultimate ray yeah, I think I'll put down the fresh yeah, we have to we pretty much have to claim it a slash here We could GGN the bird, but that doesn't really make any sense um, This has gotten very awkward. That's for sure. This has gotten super 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 awkward. All right, there's the energy on the board. Yeah, we pretty much just have to. We're just pretty much forcing the Calamity Slash. That's a really good top deck. Um, so I'm going to start with this um, and discard the Mimikyu, I think. Grab myself that Surge so I can Surge next turn. I want to. Okay. Um, put down this new guy. I'm going to attach a Weakness Guard Energy active. Put the karate belt and the counter gain on those two. And then <clears throat> Calamitous Slash, I believe. Calamitous Slash here for the knockout. I fully expect to be reset stamped here. Um, yeah, I fully expect our opponent to hit us with the reset stamp here. Uh, Lure Ball is super nice to put potentially combo with Roxy. Great catcher, there it is finally. And a reset stamp. So our hand is actually really, really good. If they don't stamp us, I think we just win. Uh, but if they stamp us, I guess it could be close still for sure. But yeah, if they don't stamp us, we're in a we're in a really really good spot. Um, but they have to not reset stamp us, which I don't think is gonna happen. I think we're gonna probably get reset stamped here. There is the Cryogonal send up, so I imagine they are going to frozen lock us here, which would make sense. Wait, there's another greens. Oh, they used they used uh, Caitlyn and Cynthia for it. Okay, that makes sense. Um, yeah, could get frozen locked here, but that's fine because then we can actually just GG end the uh, what's it called? Moltres, uh, Articuno, Zapdos. Uh, we can just GGN that uh, for our turn. And then they're reset down to zero energy in play. And then have to come up with uh, some more energy in play. Yeah, there's the Frozen Lock. All right, guys, like I said, this is fine. We're cool with this. I mean, I prefer it not to happen, I guess, overall. But then we have to GGN this bird, uh, which we can do. And we're going to do. We go ahead and put a Psychic here. Uh, maybe the Rainbow, actually. No, we should put a Psychic there. Put the Rainbow there. Um, actually, no, we should put the Rainbow here. Yeah, rainbow here. And GG end. Get rid of the bird. Now it's to the point where they actually start to run out of energy. So we can take a look at that. They're actually out of water energy. So they can only... Actually, they can't attack with bird or ADP anymore. And I think we just win. They're actually out of water energy. <laughs> That's actually uh, kind of funny. I didn't really realize that until right now. They're out of water energy. And they can't attack with the bird or the... Uh, ADP anymore. They actually only play four water. One's on the active. Three are in the discard pile. And that should be game. We have an energy in hand. We're just going to start using linear attack on the dudes. Uh, probably just target this uh, active guy first. Hit him twice, knock him out, and then we can KO the Victini after that. But that should, yeah, that should actually just be game. They don't have, uh, they're out of energy. That's it. I got, I got nothing else to say. They're out of water energy. They can't attack with either of their big boys. Um, and then we will just slowly win through the uh, linear attacks here. 
deal with the Kragnal, open up our items again. We want to do this as fast as possible before they potentially have some other out that I'm not aware of. Or maybe play more than four water energy, which is kind of currently the norm in the deck. And then we have to deal with something, give them less time to try and draw into that. Uh, let's see, there's a Cynthia and Caitlyn. I mean, I assume they would have topped like that or they would have played it last turn if they didn't top deck it this turn. No reason for them to have not played it last turn. Um, there's an ADP. There's a Lightning to it. There's a Choice Helmet to it. Uh, there's a Pokey Gear for a Faba. Faba's going to be pretty annoying next turn, but we'll be able to deal with it uh, just fine, I think, overall. I'm not too worried about it. We also get to reset stamp our opponent to one here, which is kind of cool. The reset stamp to one. I can go ahead and play uh, attach. Uh, play greens. Go ahead and grab myself a Faba. And I don't really need second Roxy, but I was, I was thinking about taking second Roxy. I think I'll just take the fighting... Uh, the karate belt, just in case my opponent does. Actually, no, we would probably draw into the second arc. What, what, what could we ever possibly want here? Probably the karate belt. If we want anything, I think it's going to be the karate belt. Um, catch this. And I'm going to go ahead and just... Uh, oh, I could have played the Fapa if I had done the other one. All right. Then your attack for 10. Um, okay, so that did not quite work. I should have gone Surge Green's Faba. I should have faba this turn. Oops. Yeah, I should have definitely faba this turn. There's no reason to not faba this turn. There's another Caitlyn and Cynthia. They're going to grab themselves a green, draw three cards. A green's exploration, a draw three cards. There's a fire, so they can victory sign. We'll see if they have a metal and a water here or not. Here we go. They have a fire, and that's it. So, like I said, I think this is going to be game. And, yeah, there's the concession from our opponent. I think they finally realized they're out of water energy. And we're going to take a dub here over the ADP birds in the first one. It was a close one. I think I definitely made some major mistakes in when I should have GG ended and when I should have Calamity Slashed, but worked out in the end. All right, we're going second. We're playing up against the Trevnor Handlock deck. Um, this matchup, I think, is actually really tough. For us um i've had a lot of uh rough experiences against this deck so far we do have a hand that's pretty good at answering it early on at the very least um we can go treasure probably get rid of the faba because the reef touch stamps will be pretty good against our opponent later on we're probably gonna go ahead and get rid of faba here grab myself uh mistrevis and then just dusk stone into it we are not, oh, this means we can't play greens, I guess, if we top deck it, but then we can just pop it and then play the greens, I guess. Uh, this is to protect us from them comboing off and just kind of running over us. Uh, we have a fighting energy here. I'm also going to put down the karate belt. Yeah, because even though they didn't do anything last turn, very easy for the deck to just kind of top deck something and then start comboing off on us. So just to protect ourselves from that, it's going to play it out like this. We can play it slow. We're definitely favor The slower the game goes, the better it is for us. Give us more time. Yeah, see, they have the evolution in hand the whole time they maybe have even had a treasure uh the point of their deck is to pop some mischievouses and then they go into the trevnor <clears throat> after reset stamping you low and then taking away your whole hand so we ideally wanted multiple multiple mischievous down on our bench that turn so we could possibly get out another miss mages on the following turn um but just getting out the one miss mages is a good start it's a good start for us just to get out that first miss mages get that into play uh, so we can hopefully see some cards after we start to get reset stamped to the three or four um, Which is what our opponent is ideally trying to pull off. There's that surge from them Yeah, so they're gonna be string to the buzz Faramosa, and then they're gonna attack switch it on to the Trevnor So they can attack with Trevnor as soon as possible instead of sitting there and attaching psychics three times um, While it's getting you know threatened the whole time they can do it in one turn. There's a tag call So I assume the Trevnor is coming out here Followed up by another greens we're definitely going to get reset stamped here. They're the Trevnors. Um, yeah, so they're they're setting up pretty well here. Second Trevnor as well. Oof, this one's looking a little scary. Yeah, switch. Oh, maybe they're not going in this turn. Oh, they probably want to clear out the hand with the switch, actually. They're, they're still going in this turn. And they still have another greens that they can play. So they're not quite done yet. There's another message. Drawing some more cards. They can use another green. So now I'm down to four prize cards. So now they can greens for B string and uh, tag switch if they want or something like that. And then they can just start attacking us. And then, uh, well, to be honest, we kind of lose the game. The matchup, I think, is definitely unfavorable. I've played it a couple times now. I've lost every time. It's just tough. It's just a very tough matchup. 
Uh, they do a lot of stuff really fast. They're really annoying. The deck is really annoying to deal with. You can't really play around it um, at all. But this is like the best we can do is put this Miss Magus in play and be like, okay, uh, you reset stamp us. We do have a way to draw cards. That's like the best we can do for ourselves is put this Miss Magus in play, leave it in play on the bench. Don't pop it. Kind of wait to get reset stamped and then maybe pop it afterwards and then kind of hope for the best as far as uh drawing out of the hand lock goes but there they go we set step down to four but like i said we do the miss mages there's the night watch for the 150. they get to take away two cards and that's fine with me draw for turn get ourselves a power plant all right we need to get ourselves another tina chomp here uh, which i'm gonna go find chomp Bench attach, and then we can miss mages for uh, some cards. Um, the problem is we're gonna get reset stamped again, and then more cards taken out of our hand. Um, we can put this guy on the bench though. That's kind of cool. I'm on the bench. Um, I can go ahead and greens for. Um, I don't think I want a Roxy here. No, I can greens and go ahead and get this guy a karate belt. Be important to have on him. And then I could also grab a reset stamp of our own. That doesn't seem very strong. Could Mysterious Treasure or Great Catcher. I could Great Catcher up something to try and trap it in the active. That would be okay as well, I think. But I think I might want to save the Great Catcher to win the game. Um, I could Treasure for another Miss Magus. But if they knock out this and I pop this, I guess that would be all of our stuff anyways. Um, is there anything I can put in play to give ourselves like a better chance here of just like getting through the potential dead draw? I don't think so. I think we just maybe just want to leave and as it is grab this energy spinner is just good to have if we actually survive our next turn and they don't uh what's it called us go ahead and linear attack and just hit this active guy. yeah if they actually don't uh reset stamp us again if they just can't find another reset stamp and we get to keep this hand the energy spinner is pretty nice to have actually so i'll just go ahead and take that i could have actually taken surge if it was in the deck i guess surge would have been a little bit better it would have given us Quite a bit more options. There's a Mallow and Lana. So if they have a switch or some energy to combo with that, that'll be pretty annoying. But then we can just GG end this Trevnor actually uh, with our GX attack. So that would be pretty good for us as long as they don't have a Faba for our Karate Belt, which I would just kind of hope they don't have. There's nothing I could really do if they do have it. So I just kind of hope they don't have the Faba for the Bench Karate Belt. But they're using what's it called? But they could have Surge again I as well. I guess I don't know. They could have a lot of things. I had a Pokey Gears. So I know that much. All right, there's the Mallow and Lana. They are gonna heal up the dude. Go into the Miss Magus. Um, the thing, yeah, so the thing I'm scared of here is getting reset stamped back down to four and then not being able to deal with that. <clears throat> Miss Magus themselves down to, or myself down to three. And actually this gets a little scary for our opponent because now I can just go great catcher and knock this thing out when they go down to two prize cards after they knock this out. But they could actually GX attack um, and make it so I knock out into their turn, which would be really annoying um we'll see if they see that line of play or not um, but that's definitely definitely how i would play it i if i was them yeah there's the reset stamp down to three here we go all right we got greens and energy spinner so those are two we want to keep there's the night watch they get to the shuffle in two so we want one of those two all right we kept the we kept the energy spinner so we can gg end our opponents active here and uh get rid of it we don't want to we don't want to see it anymore maybe we'll top deck something uh, pretty cool as well. We could top deck something else. There's always possible possibility to top deck. It is the energy. Um, but I think I'd rather take an energy out of the deck. Yeah, we will GGN this Trevnor and uh hope it uh hope it's enough. GG end Trevnor. We do Calamitous Slash it. Um I don't know what other stuff they could play to like heal it or something. So I'm just gonna GG end it, get rid of it. Uh and then hope they can't set up another one. They already do have two seconds on this guy though, so if they like, uh, I assume they play at least two tag switch. They could just tag switch them over and then attach again and then do the same thing. So maybe I should have Calamitous Slashed actually. Could have Calamitous Slashed and then plan to Calamitous Slash again. I don't know. We could have just gone with the Calamitous Slash, I guess. Go Calamitous Slash, knock it out, or hit it really hard, I guess. Um, maybe Calamitous Slash was the better way to go there. We could just hit it. And then they have to heal it, but they can't fully heal it because they have to heal like all the damage that I could that would possibly be on it. Um, so they have to heal a lot. They can't heal all of it. Um, and actually, once again, or right now, I can't actually win the game. 
on my turn uh because we're tied in prices so like just getting a green actually greens would never get they got the tag switch so they are going to be able to do it once again like a gx attack us here actually which would be worse almost oh my gosh yeah this is not looking good for us at all they need another energy though um or they could just go with the they need one more energy if they want to use the the full effect and discard our energy otherwise we do just get knocked out but i guess we could hard retreat there's a reset stamp um but it's looking like they don't have the last energy here yep it's just the pale moon gx let's see what i draw i draw caitlin and cynthia i'm gonna go ahead and play a tag call i can mal and lana simply switch to the bench and then i can get another one of these in case i need a hard retreat ever and keep him alive Right, that seems fine to me. So I can, yeah, I can just Caitlyn and Cynthia and switch to the bench. Or Mal and Lana and just switch to the bench. So we're going to do that. Put your active to the bench. I'm going to go ahead and attach. I'm going to pass. So we ignore the effect of the GX attack that they put on us. I guess this gets shuffled back into the deck right now, which I probably didn't want. So I should have actually benched that. They whiffed an energy last turn, so they might whiff an energy this turn. Uh, but that's not a good, uh, good way to play it out. I should have benched the uh, Tina Chomp. Now we're living off our top deck again, which is not good. We don't want to be living off our top deck. It's never a good good way to play the game. There's the order pad heads. I assume they play some count of great catcher. Well, there's one gone, so they maybe only play one, actually. Very possible they only play one great catcher. They order pad for order pad, so you know that means they got nothing left. There's never any reason to order pad for order pad. So they are out of stuff. They're completely out of stuff. There's a Miss Magus. We can put them down to one prize card. That's fine with me never wins them the game go ahead and miss mages here if we get a greens we do win the game there's the greens we can send up our tina chomp and then we can greens for the great catcher and then go ahead and great catcher knock out the buzzmosa and we will win this one barely this matchup like i said it's a very difficult matchup i don't like playing against it because of how hard it is it's a super frustrating matchup because you don't really get to play the game but we do actually end up walking away with the victory here over it which feels super good <laughs> beating the trevnor miss mages buzzmosa deck feels very good to beat it and that's going to do it for this video with some more roxy chomp gameplay hope you guys enjoyed it if you did be sure to give the video a like if you're enjoying the content be sure to subscribe uh, leave your thoughts in the comment section down below have a good day thanks for watching and peace